In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to train YOLO with your own data set. We are going to train a neural network to recognize helicopters and spiders. Even though we don't prepare much training data, as you can see in the left window, YOLO still can recognize objects pretty well. Firstly, download or git clone YOLO from the repository. You also can find here an instruction, and a quick start guide. Also pay attention to library versions. The very first look of your YOLO directory will be like this. We have to make some modifications to train YOLO. Invoke classes text, we will write classes that will be recognized by YOLO. Also, we need to make a voc dev kit directory in which we will store image files and annotation files for training. After the training, h5 files will be generated in the logs folder. Now, let's begin from creating a voc 2007 directory. To create and move directory, use mkdir and cd commands. Now, we need to collect training data. This is the most effort taking part in the training process. You may use whatever means you have. Use the internet, take pictures yourself or hire someone to collect data for you. In this tutorial we will collect data using the internet. Open a browser and write helicopter. Here, you will find quite a lot of helicopter photos. Check the picture size. We will train YOLO with 480 by 640 image size, so, images with much smaller size are not suitable for training. Choose Save Image as option and save the image. Do this again until you save enough images. This time, we have collected around 90 pictures for each class. These are the images we have collected. To achieve better result with recognition, try to collect images that contain the object with various background, and are taken from various angles. After collecting the images, we have to resize them. Use whatever paint software you want. In this tutorial I will use PaintNet. We will train YOLO with 480 by 640 pixel image size. So, resize your pictures so that the objects fit into this size. Be careful not to change aspect ratio of the objects. This is how it will look like after you have resized all the pictures. Make sure that all pictures are resized properly and are the same size. 
it is good practice to write simple Python script to check all the picture size at once. For labeling we will use labelinc. In this page you can find how to set up this tool. Go to labeling base directory, open the data folder and open predefined classes text file. Here write class names that will be used. That is helicopter and spider. Execute labeling pi file and open the directory with resized images. Annotation is an easy task. Enclose in a square the object YOLO should learn, and save it in the annotations directory, we previously made. Do the same procedure for all images. After annotating all images, your annotations folder should look like this. Now, go to the main folder. Here we have to create three files, train test and val text files. Write image names in each file. Use around 80% of all images for train, and 10% for val and test each. Now, go to the model data folder. Invoke classes text file, Write names of the classes, which YOLO will learn. Open Voc Annotation Pi file. In the classes array, change name to the classes, we used an annotation. Since instead of JPEG, PNG format is used. Change JPEG to PNG in line 30. Execute VOC annotation by script. In your base directory three files will be generated. Go to Darknet homepage and download weights for YOLO v3416. After downloading weights, Convert the weights file to H5 file. After conversion completes, YOLO weights H5 file will be generated in the model data folder. Open the train pi script. Change input shape to 480 and 640. Then, change batch size to 4. Batch size depends on your GPU specification and train data set. If the train process stops, make this value smaller. Execute train pi script. After training completes, 
move to the logs folder. Choose the H5 file with minimal VAL loss. Move this file to the model data folder and rename it to my data H5. Open YOLO Pi script. Change file name in the model path to my data H5 and model image size to 480 and 640. Also, comment out line 174 and add a line to capture frames from USB camera. Now we are ready. Execute YOLO Video Pi.